Good afternoon to everyone! Today I want to show you my new quilting project. I have lots of such rectangular pieces. They are all of different colors. Some are dark, some are bright. I thought for a long time that I could sew from them and what a beautiful product I could do. And finally I came up with. And now I want to show it to you. For this project we need such rectangular pieces. And you can use rectangles of different sizes that you have. This method is suitable for rectangles of any size. Here we take two rectangles, for example, a red and a black one. I have rectangles of such size that you can see on my mat. It's almost 7 inches and 4.5 and inches wide. Now is what I'm going to do. I pull the pieces together. One block is placed face to face, the other face down. I have a double-sided fabric, so it's easier for me. But on inside you can see a sticker, so I am guided here on it. That is one block is directed face to face and another is directed to the mat. Now let's align these blocks. I will align them along this line. There is a little extra here, but we still need to cut it off. We align these two blocks. Now we need to take a pencil, a crayon or something else to put mark up. What do we do? We will lay mark up from this corner. I will lay half an inch pace. Why is it half an inch? In quilting it is traditional that the width of a seam is one third of an inch or 6-7 millimeters. In fact, one third of an inch is 6.3 millimeters. Of course, we will not consider millimeters. Someone sewing machines come with one third of an inch foot and everyone line their seams with this foot. So one third of an inch plus one third of an inch is half an inch. It's more convenient for me to do it this way, by half an inch. If you have a different seam allowance, then leave two sizes your seam allowance. If you make a 6 mm seam allowance, then leave 1.2 cm here and 1.2 cm here and put a point. And do the same on this side. So we put the points on this piece and let's put them on this piece too, but on the other side. Thus, we get points here and here and connect them with the line. You see, my diagonal did not go into a corner, but stepped a little to the side exactly for the seam allowance here. Now we take needles and this piece and impose our lines. We lay them together and pin. You can also check here for accuracy to make sure that nothing has moved. Now that everything is pinned, we go to the sewing machine and lay a line parallel to our diagonal, leaving your seam allowance 6 or 7 mm or one third of an inch, depending on what you choose. We lay out two lines along the diagonal and now just cut. Now let's iron each part and get two such blocks. You can see that they are in one direction. If you need a block that's located in other different direction, you should take other pieces and draw the diagonal in another direction, not like we draw it here. That is, leave here, put a point here from this side. And on this piece we do like this. Let's impose our lines, pin, lay a stitch and then cut. And then we will get a block with another direction pattern. And now let's see how it will look like. For example, it can look like this. You can lay any patterns and now you can look at our sketches of possible results. Well, that's it. So with pleasure. 
Now I say goodbye to you. See you soon.